Good. Hey, Shitty Robot Nation. Queen here. You can set it up if you want right. to. Sorry, Queen flag there in the background. It's good. This week's video is going to be really special because I'm in Ottawa and I'm also here with a real life astronaut. Congratulations on going to space. That's crazy. Thank you. You know, I actually, I'm not quite going to space yet. I no? still have about two and a half years of training ahead of me. But, but still, you have it on your schedule. I have it on my schedule. That's so. more than I have. But what's the most common question you get about your work? There's a lot of misconceptions about uh, the life of an astronaut because it's so abstract for most people. We only see science fiction movies, maybe, and nobody really knows what we really do. People think we're always in space. That's not true. We spend most of our career on the ground, working in mission control, helping out other astronauts get a successful and safe mission. Do you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, David, you're a goddamn astronaut, or does the effect kind of wear off? I never feel like that. And oh, that, really? No, 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 no. Gosh, I, everything, my life is a uh, lie. The training is so hard, and the expectations are so high that you never really have a chance to feel all that excellence because no. they really push you to your limits. Yeah. And I guess keeping us kind of humble is the best way of keeping us on on our toes. So it's easy to stay grounded as an astronaut, yes. pun, <laughs> what? If you're not grounded, uh, you're like on your way joke. to an accident. Yeah. Is there something potentially embarrassing that you're nervous about, like throwing up during launch or? Maybe stuttering during a speech. Oh, really? Or, yeah, that's, uh, that's bad. Diarrhea in space or like food poisoning, wow, stuff that would like be bad. that. that would be Which bad. one would be worse? Maybe the worst thing that could happen to you is to be sick in your spacesuit. Oh, really? Does that, has that happened to that, somebody? That, fortunately, has never happened. But you uh, could be no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can't even imagine that because you're stuck in there. It's not like you can go back inside. Yeah, we, and just... and we, we, we take great care of making sure uh, that we're feeling great when we're entering the space suit. Are you ever naked in space or do you always have to wear clothes? Of course, sometimes we change. I mean, because I'm thinking that you would always be in some sort of protective gear ah. outfit. Inside the protection of the space station, you wear t-shirts and shorts. You're just like inside your home. Yeah. Part of it Slippers. is like your home. Oh no, you wouldn't that. Just... You, know, you, know, you don't really use your feet. No, that much. You yeah. use your hands to move around. Your feet must get really soft. You know, interesting. So, this plant of your feet, that gets really soft. But that piece gets calluses because you're constantly wedging your feet under handrails really? to keep it's yourself like in position. Opposite. It's the opposite. And also, you use your feet to carry objects around. So is there anything, I mean, you're a hero to so many people. Is there anything you feel you can't do being an astronaut, like biking without a bike helmet or, I don't know, getting a 16-year-old girlfriend? I'm just a regular guy. Yeah, don't you just feel that? I, I, I have like this superpower feeling, David, where you're like... Yeah, it does not happen, oh, no. Really? I think if that starts to sneak up on you, uh, you're on your way to uh, problems. Wow, it's good that I'm not an astronaut there. I have that every day. You, that's great. <laughs> that's what's great about you. <laughs> Maybe. I, I'm not sure. What do you wish that people asked more about? A lot of people are curious about daily life in space and the quicks and quirks of, you know, going to the bathroom, sleeping, eating. One thing that a lot of people don't really know about is what we do. Yeah. What's our work? Yeah. Why are we up there? What are we up there for? I'm always enthusiastic to explain, A, the science we do up there, and B, all the maintenance we do, all the technology that we're trying to develop that's going to help us all on Earth. It's basically a life of research and adventure. It's really cool. Job. It's a good life. Thank you so much Thank for you. being on my YouTube channel. I now have an astronaut subscriber. Just say yes. Yeah, yes. so you should subscribe too. I post new videos every week. See you later. Salut. Thank you so much. All right. That's Thank great. You.